Austin, I'm dead serious. There used to be these massive creatures. They roamed the earth, and there's these ones with these big old teeth and these itty bitty arms. And they were, but they, they, they're extinct now. They're gone. Oh yeah, I, I think didn't, wasn't there like a truck that they named after that thing too? There was. Yeah, remember back when they like it sounded cool and cars were fun and they made all sorts of crazy noises like. <laughs> Isn't it, isn't it funny now that all we have is electric, hybrid, twin turbo? I just wish yeah. that we could go back to like, what was that? Like 2024, yeah. there was this truck. The final edition, man. Just, just, it, it was it. That, that was the one. And what, how did that thing sound again? In the early 1900s, Dodge came out, and uh, shortly after that, they started coming out with these big old V8s, and they were dominating the muscle car segment. Right. A little bit after that, they went away for a bit because of the gas crisis. They did. However, in the early 2000s, Dodge came back out with the Charger and the Challenger. They stuffed yeah. a big old V8 inside of it, and they sent them down the road with RT and SRT badges. It was essentially the return of the Hemi. It was. And in 2015, the Hemi got the biggest refresh of its entire life. The Hellcat was born. Yes. The Hellcat rebranded and rebirthed Dodge into becoming the most extreme burnout, drag strip, menace to society, menace to society vehicle up? that we have ever seen on this earth. The Hellcat has had multiple iterations. It went from Hellcat to Hellcat Red Eye to Demon. The fastest accelerating car on this planet is powered by a 6.2 liter Hemi V8, and that is that's just straight America right there. <laughs> They started cramming that Hemi V8 into things like the Grand Cherokee SRT. Yes, beautiful. We had the Trackhawk, we had the Durango SRT, but they put it in a truck, the Ram TRX. Dodge is heading down a very sad path at the moment. It sure is, holy smokes. I don't know what's about to happen to the company, but it's the V8's done. This is it. The Hemi's done. This is it. This is the final edition. The TRX is being sent off and being replaced with a twin turbo V6, followed by an upcoming supposedly electric TRX. Before we get too far into this video, I need to give a huge shout out to Apple Autos and Apple Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram here in Shakopee, Minnesota for giving us the allowance to use this beautiful Ram TRX Final Edition. If you guys are interested in purchasing this beautiful new truck, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome to Performance on Wheels. My name is Todd, my son Austin and I make all sorts of videos about different cars. Thanks for tuning in to our video today on the TRX. Don't forget so, to hit like, hit subscribe, help us grow this father-son team. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are checking out the final edition. This $125,000 Ram TRX. I don't even know if we can get this more expensive or if this literally has every option possible. But anyways, what we're going to do in the video is we're obviously going to check out the Ram TRX, but what we are also going to do as we're talking about uh, the different options inside, outside, we're going to tell you our opinion between its direct competitor, Which right? Which is the Ford Raptor R. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, we had a video, it's up in the corner, where we compared the Ford Raptor to the Ford Raptor R. So it's fresh in our minds being behind the wheel of that absolute GT500 powered beast. So as we go through this thorough review of the Ram TRX Final Edition, we're going to compare it to the Ford Raptor R. If this is somehow your first ever Ram TRX video, this vehicle is not at all comparable to the Ram 1500. Now, when they were doing the R&D, they changed quite a few things, and what might those be? They absolutely did. So just to give just a few just basic bullet points to hopefully give some context to this specially developed vehicle, 75% of this sheet metal, of the steel, the frame, everything on this vehicle, 75% of it is different over the normal 1500 Ram. Some other items that are pretty neat. So this is like a Baja uh, engineered, a Baja developed Ram. So going over jumps, very rough articulating terrain. So there's a lot of engineering that went into that suspension. Yeah, because it was supposed to be a direct competitor to the Ford Raptor. And right. then uh, after Ram released this, Ford had to have a competitor back. They sure did. Was the Raptor R. So the Raptor had the 3.5 V6 when they launched the 6.2 powered TRX, and then Ford replied with the GT500 powered 
TR Raptor R. Yeah, so they had to figure out how to make this truck work with that massive 6.2 liter under the hood. During their testing, they had almost a thousand pounds of test gear. So this truck weighed in about 7,500 pounds. Obviously for their testing, they had to get back down to the normal curb weight. So they were taking seats out, taking different components out, doing everything they can to get the curb weight back around 6,300 pounds. With all the test gear in it. Right. So that's pretty, that's pretty smart. It's cool. Yeah. So so this is a pig when it's compared to the Raptor. These I'm just giving estimated numbers here because I don't have notes in front of me, yeah. but I'm pretty sure the Raptor is right around 5,800. This is around 6,300. This is also like an inch taller, an inch wider, about the same length, but this guy's a pig, so, right? So he's made out of steel. The, the Raptor's mostly aluminum as most Fords are, and these are Baja specific trucks. So some of that normal capability that you would find in a normal 1500, these are actually a little lower when it comes to like payload and towing. Yeah, and that's a lot to do with the Baja designed suspension, which just simply can't handle the same load. But this is the amazing part of it, right? This is what makes these unique, is you have a vehicle that's like high performance, so high performance that it's going to make a lot of sports cars on the market today. Yeah. Like, I don't know, wet themselves out of like fear when they're losing races or when they hear the supercharger whine, Wait. but but it can still tow your like up to 8,000 pound boat, can still go to Home Depot. Like this is a functioning truck that has like supercar almost capabilities. It really is a do it all vehicle because yeah, like you said, we can tow, we can haul, we can fit the whole family in here. We can have a date night high luxury vehicle, a sports car smoking pickup truck that kind of rides like a luxury car Heck that can yeah. also rock crawl if it needs to and go Baja. Now Austin really is a one of everything. Yeah, Austin, we're going to get and talk about some of those luxury stuff inside, but let's start talking about the exterior. A lot of this is going to be opinionated, but that's cool, right? All of our opinions matter. Maybe they don't, but anyways, we're going to tell you ours. So the, the Ram, like completely different front end over any other Ram. This is a specific vehicle, huge wide openings, functional air vents on the side of the headlights, massive inlets for that air to get in, to cool that 6.2 liter. Uh, everywhere is functional, right? There's not any fake plastic up front. Yeah, not up front there is not, but as we move around the side, you may be surprised. So I am going to show yes. that off when we get around. Looking to forward side. to it. But the thing that I like about the TRX, um, it sticks out on the road. It like, does. There's absolutely zero telling it apart. Every now and then I can let a, let a Raptor slip by. Uh, like, yeah, they're wider than the F-150, but they're still somewhat similar on the front end. Right. This is nothing alike at all. Yep. They shrunk the headlights down. They they shrunk the grill down. They made all the the inlets for air bigger. They put vents everywhere. They made this thing buff as a horse. Right. Like, it's a mean looking truck. And I think there's no denying the fact that it's probably the most aggressive looking truck that's ever been built. You say it's aggressive, but at the same time, I almost argue some of the components when comparing it over to the competitor, the Raptor, right? Yeah. So the clearance lights, they're more subtle. The clearance lights that, that are on the, the fenders are more subtle. Ford took the approach of big, bold, mean lights, right? Yeah. Huge headlights where the Ram, like you said, have a sl like a lot slicker, sleeker headlights. Uh, very pronounced actual headlights in there that look luxurious they so there, there's a lot of really cool refinement in this truck uh but there's also like the holy crap i just got done with the gym taking roids and i'm ready to go as we move around to the side we have a beautiful glimpse at this del monaco red and with this being a final edition we get these fancy black gloss door handles and this gloss black that runs along the entire bottom side now what i really like about this gloss black that runs around the entire side bottom side it's not just like this plain old boring black there's a ton of flake in it yeah and in this red this del monaco red there's also a ton of flake and it almost matches the flake hue so it's a really cool color clash combination we have going on here and then that with the uh, silverish gray TRX logo that matches directly to these wheels, which are just beautiful. Just right. a super, super mean looking set of wheels. I would never, ever change out these factory wheels. They look fantastic. Yeah. Beadlock capable wheels do look fantastic, Austin. Thanks for pointing them out. Obviously, we have the 35 inch tires on there. We don't have the 37 inch option like the Raptor R has. Very the, true. The engineers say like, yeah, you can put them on there, but this truck is engineered for those 35 inch tires. So sure. going off jumps, the suspension settings, like that's what they're engineered for. They said, yeah, you put a bigger tire on there, it'll go down the road, but if you start pushing the truck, you might meet a little sheet metal. Austin, I like how you pointed out the TRX out on the back there because we 
we do see a little bit of that similar uh, patina, that same color on the TRX badge, as well as what outlines the 6.2 liter up on the hood. Love it. The hood graphics are awesome. Part of the package that uh, is on this specific TRX. And when we get to the inside, just make sure you're taking note of that color that's on the outside because it's pretty fun to see that patina stitching carry over all throughout the interior. This interior is worth sticking around for. Please bear with us here for just another second. Up front, we obviously, uh, as we're working to the side, we have that functional heat extractors, not only on the top of the hood, but also on the rear of that front fender. And we get our first glimpse of the specific su suspension. Now over there, our forward friends at uh, the, the, the Raptor, they use the Fox suspensions where here on the Ram side of town, we have the Bilstein. And these are very similar functionality as far as the engineering that goes into the suspension, the suspension settings. You put it in Baja and that suspension is going to stay loose when you're going around turns. And if you're under heavy acceleration, it's going to allow that front end to float with anticipation of maybe getting airborne. Who knows, right? So you've got wheel sensors or, or height sensors on all four corners, but you also have like, I think it's three different like speed sensors, kind of like like that 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 uh, the, the the diagram on a plane that yeah. makes it makes you a level so it's got all sensors so the truck can stay level and it makes those adjustments with the suspension for that and back here we have an additional vent on the back of our fender however this one is not functional it's just for looks which is interesting to me i have never been up close to a trx this is my first opportunity to be i had no idea this wasn't a functional vent um but it does look cool there's no doubt about that it's it's got a it's got a cool look to it now one of the things i really like about the trx RX, both up front and in back here is uh on the new raptors they went all out with trying to make the side markers really dang cool looking yep. now here on the trx they made them extremely subtle they're super super just nicely bedded into both the front and the rear plastic kind of fender covers they look really good they're kind of hidden in there but they look pretty aggressive when they're illuminated on the driver back corner we have this little footstep and you just push down so you got yourself a little step to get yourself into the tailgate and you just push to get it back up on in there. That We've seen that on Rams for quite some time now. It's a handy little step, but it's kind of finicky at the same time. I think that wraps up the side of the Ram. What do you think? Uh, there's a few more things we can touch base on. The running boards are very similar to what you will find on the Raptor. Like obviously you have this heavy duty powder coated, but you also have the uh, open slots in there to let some of that sand and gravel fall through so it doesn't build up on there. The final thing I will say about the side of the TRX is that rear hip. Austin talked about that fake, fake vent out back. But what I will say as I remember distinctively looking down the side of that Raptor R, was it does not look nearly as aggressive as the back wheel arch, the back fender of the Ram TRX. Maybe it's because it's wider. Dad, walk over here for a second. Just, so they, just so they can view that glorious side profile there of the is. Ram TRX, yeah. that back quarter. This thing just looks so buff from that angle. And I mean, every angle, this thing looks buff as it can does, be. right? But just that back angle to me, I, I love the way that looks. Now, as we move around back, I wanted to talk about these exhaust tips quick. One of the largest exhaust tips I've ever seen on a production your, vehicle. Your entire can, leg can fit in there. I, I literally had my arm up to about, I don't know, probably 10 inches of my arm I had all the way into that thing. Mm. That's ridiculous Beautiful. how big those things are. Just a, a massive exhaust tip, super aggressive looking, and while we're talking about them, we might as well take a listen. Before we get into the inside, which I am looking forward to on the TRX here, let's put that tailgate down. Now you can see that obviously it does slow itself down a little bit, but I remember on the Raptor, if I came under here and I hit a button, 
it went up by itself, but this doesn't seem to be doing that. Uh, otherwise, in the bed of the truck here, we're also lacking some of the uh, options that you could find in its competitor, the Raptor. It's a little more basic back here, but one thing we do have from the factory that we didn't have in the hundred plus thousand dollar Raptor is a bed liner, right? That is very true, yeah. Uh, I must admit, even with the bed liner though, there's just something about this bed that looks cheaper than the Raptors to me. My opinion is that the sliding rail, it almost looks aftermarket, it looks like an aftermarket afterthought it looks like an accessory that didn't come from the factory and even the lights don't look like they're integrated as well we don't have our little cubby on the storage we don't have our outlet sitting over on the side i think the raptor has a better bed than the trx right <laughs> all right awesome we got to stop playing and get inside this thing and give some comparisons there but first i do want to hear your opinion completely off the cuff we haven't discussed this like from the exterior and what the exterior provides and i'm going to take this a step further than just the design we're talking about like the actual outside presence. So the exhaust note, the, the supercharger noise, like which one do you take? Which one do you like better between this and the Raptor? When we're talking about specifically just looks, I think I got to stick with the TRX. I think the overall looks and the exterior design of the TRX is far more aggressive. And even before we hop in the interior, I already know what the interior is like. Right. The interior of this, I think is far better than the TRX too. But I just want to quick talk about my thoughts on the power powertrain too and why we're standing right by the massive 6.2 might as well bring it up please right? do i think the raptor r is more fun to drive I, I think the raptor r is a lot more in your face you can tell the weight difference between the two you can tell the torque kits kicks on earlier in the uh raptor r and it just feels like it's got more power all the way throughout the power band this feels like a big pig. It feels slow after we're about at 50 or so. Right, and so I do agree with what you're saying and I'll just give a few more description words to what you're saying. Like this truck is more of a look at me truck maybe similar to some of the, uh, the the challengers and mopars of their day right yeah. the supercharger whine from the outside is super loud it sounds the, so cool the exhaust is loud right but at the end of the day like the other guy's faster and that would always ended up being the case with some of the other mopar muscle cars they're they're known as the boats right yeah they are for sure so i am a huge fan of the trx Overall, from a day-to-day -day driving standpoint, I'd probably pick it over the Raptor R. Just when it comes to looks, interior quality, uh, the feel behind the wheel, it feels so much more luxurious in the interior. So I'm really excited to hop inside here in a moment. Um, that way we can compare those two. But yeah, just the driving aspects, I think the Raptor R is just more fun. Oh, and the paddle shifters on this, I think are very weird. I do want to give just two things of credit to the Raptor that I think might give it an upper edge from the factory. The 37s do kind of give it an aggressive look, right? They do. And the, just the lighting difference. So the lights are a little bigger, they're a little bolder. So if you're into the like outside, like look at me type of deal, like maybe when it's dark out or something, Raptor might be your jam in that regard. Let's hop on the inside of this thing and check it out. Hopping on to the inside of the old TRX. Fabulous. Now you already sat in back of this thing. What did you think back there? It's a like next level experience compared to the Raptor. The Raptor's nice. I actually commented on like the cushion of the seats. Yeah. Just because, and this is a very similar statement regardless of what seat you're sitting in there's another level of luxury in the ram uh, and that's because of like a big part of it is like the different textures that are used so this is actually real carbon fiber up front yep. but you have the patina stitching that matches the outside like i was mentioning earlier super super cool accent so you have leather you also have like this alcantara terra type stuff and you have the carbon fiber and you have like just different textures in the doors you have different textures uh like every Everywhere. Everywhere the texture and the color is changing slightly. It's keeping your yeah. eyes engaged. It's making it a very nice place to be. One of the things that I really like that is both mimicked in front and back is the door panels. So they use this like Alcantara material. However, the way that it's weaved is to almost look like carbon fiber. So it's like carbon fiber weaved Alcantara, which feels fantastic. And then around that is this black chrome color with the uh, dry carbon fiber above that. Um, it does leave some fingerprints 
prints because we do have our door handle wrapped in that as well. However, it looks really dang cool. And with a simple microfiber cloth, you can have a sweet looking interior all the time. Now, Austin, because this is the final edition, one thing we cannot forget to mention is the fact that we have the final edition emblem inside here. Now, remember, there's a, this is limited to only 4,000 units worldwide. We're actually in build number 3,498. So boy, there's, there's only about 500 more and then we're done. 502 more. Man, that's so sad to hear. It really <laughs> is that we're, we're done with the V8 Ram after uh, just about 500 more units. That's sad. So the patina accent stitching, the special edition console badge, the special edition hood badge, that's all part of the 29Y package that you are seeing on this TRX Raptor. That package is $12,850 alone. There's also the TRX Level 2 Equipment Group on this specific Raptor. Wait, it's not a Raptor, Austin. What? This is the TRX. Yeah, why'd you say that? That option in itself is $10,995. So the final sticker, once you put in the dual pane panoramic roof and the off-road style running boards, we're at $125,215. I cannot believe that I'm sitting in a $125,000 truck right now. I believe a lot the, of money. the Raptor R that we drove was about $110 approximately. So However, this is, that was the pre-facelift for 20 24 it just got a facelift and with that facelift it got a nice old price increase along with it so it is very similar in pricing to the raptor r now that we talked about the spec in the back seats we got to move up front the tech is amazing up here like i'm going back to the texture because that's what caught my eye first the the different colors the different textures the stitching like it is phenomenal and again this is real carbon fiber yeah. so you're asking yourself why on earth am I hopping on a plane to Minneapolis right now to come buy this TRX from the Apple Auto Group? Well, that's because they're like they're, they're a phenomenal place to do business. This is a place that all throughout COVID, they remained fair, they remained uh, honest. So that's why you're hopping on a plane and driving this pig home. I would hate to be filling up the gas tank, but that's part of the gig. <laughs> yeah, it is. Now, one of the things that I really like, again, with the texture material change, it just puts it a par above the uh, Raptor, is all the way across the top of the dash, they made sure to continue using premium materials. It doesn't Amazing. get cheap at any point. Alcantara in the middle of the dash, Harman Kardon sound system, cool speaker grills all around. Amazing panoramic roof up top here, which lets in lots of light, which is amazing. But literally everywhere you look, they managed to step this up above the standard RAM. There is nothing about it. Like like the Raptor R, there's still things in the interior I can compare to an XLT F-150. For sure. I cannot compare anything in here to I, a lower class RAM. I have to say, what do you feel about this itty bitty little you know, leather know, wrap? I actually <laughs> saw that earlier. <laughs> kind of cheesy. They, they tried to make it one step above. Right. Um, and I just think it's funny that they didn't put it on the back ones, but they made sure to get this yeah, when little the four inches on that. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the tech in here I find to be better than the sync system that we find in four. Board. Um, just this whole Uconnect system has been amazing since it came out. The digital dash in here is really, really good. I'm just going to start it up so we can take a look at it. Just listen to that 6.2. <laughs> One thing that stuck, stuck out to me when I was in the backseat, just going back there for a moment because I'm looking at the door panel and getting the reminder of the Harman Kardon sound system. Really there's, cool looking. There, there's two of those 19 speakers right up on the ceiling over your head. So this the sound system is quite phenomenal. Like this is I feel like a more luxurious space over the Raptor. So it mm -hmm. definitely wins there. I think both you and I agree 100%. Like no questions asked, hands down, the Ram TRX is like on a completely different level yeah, when it comes to interior. Yeah, I, I'm blown away. Uh, we had the opportunity to make a video on this thing today uh, and I was not expecting this. Like we, there's not a lot of preparation into this. We had some facts going in but I was not prepared for how much better the quality would be on the inside. Like, I wasn't either. I, I noticed the second I got into it, like it's second to none better than the Ram or the, the Raptor. So very, very impressive. And the steering wheel, we got Alcantara on the top and bottom. A little flat bottom going little on. Little flat bottom What's action. Up? But here's what I brought up earlier. Weirdest paddles ever. Raptor wins here for sure. We got a split paddle on the top and bottom. 
Um, they, they click as one because it connects way in back, so it's like a big U, and then it like jolts out for the paddle. Um, but yeah, it's like like the where I'd actually want to click the paddle for my radio controls, is it, it's not there, so it's kind of interesting. We've been idling for about three minutes, so it's probably time to go to the gas station. Just just for reference, okay guys, like I, I understand it's a TRX, who cares about gas mileage? I put 20 bucks of fuel in this TRX, so it's zero miles of range. With $20 of fuel, the fuel light was still on. I had 58 miles of range. After driving three miles, three miles, my range of 58 miles has gone down to 43. 33 gallon tank. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Both two really menacing trucks to pick from, a Raptor R or a TRX. I'm yeah. going to say one thing that I think might make this more appealing for a lot of people, which would probably put me over the edge, making the, the Ram TRX my choice, and that's just the exclusivity of it, right? Yeah. Th this has only been made for what, three, four model years, three model years, right? And this final edition, only 4,000 units total. So that takes the cake. No, I, I totally agree. But what what is weird is I feel like I see way more TRXs on the road than I see Raptors. Like I feel like I see like three or four of them daily, which is weird, but maybe that's just because Ram drivers are out driving their trucks and TRX ones are just out uh, parking them in their garage. I don't know. Thanks so much for tuning into the video today on Performance on Wheels. We will see you next time.